what's up everybody? It's Jeff from Achievement Hunter, and welcome to Awu. Number 29. For the week of September... fuck. For the week of September 20th, 2010. I have no idea why it was down there. Special thanks goes out to Austin Turner for that intro. That was very, very cool. I'm a fan of Stop Mo Shun. Okay, so there's some new games coming out this week. I don't know if anybody really cares. I have a feeling that Reach Fever won't die down for another... <laughs> three years or so, but uh, if for whatever reason you've decided you want to play a different game than Reach this week, you got a few options, especially on Xbox Live, which is having like an arcade renaissance this week for some reason. There's a ton of stuff coming out, but let's start with retail. The only retail game coming out this week that I am aware of is F1 2010, and then on the arcade front, we've got uh, Death Spank Thongs of Virtue, which might be the fastest sequel to ever come out in the history of video games. Then we have, or it might not be, don't quote me on that, uh, or if you quote me, quote the it might not be part, because I'm not, I don't, I don't know. Oh, and Serious Sam HD Second Encounter comes out this week, and also Alien Breed 2 Assault comes out this week. I thought that one was coming out later, but I guess it's coming out this week. Then uh, on the DLC front, I'm sure there's more than this, but all I could find, probably the only DLC people are really excited about, is the Liars and Sheets DLC for Red Dead Redemption, which will be out tomorrow, I believe. And it's gonna have, I think, 10 or so achievements. Yeah. It's gonna have our Achievement of the Week. The Achievement of the Week is, uh, the Achievement of the Week this week in uh, the aforementioned Red Dead Redemption Liars and Sheets is called over 9001 and it is to attain 9001 points in one free roam session which is pretty clever get it over 9000 one one yeah and uh that's about it for me i'm gonna go back to play in halo reach so you guys go uh, back to watching this video i guess jack's probably coming up hey everybody it's private donut i'm making a cameo buy my new dvd red versus blue revolution or the box set, the recollection box set. Duh. Thank you, Donut. All right, so for some news this week, some pretty cool news if you've been keeping tabs on the Donkey Kong world record over the last few years. Turns out, well, we know Billy Mitchell beat a uh, dude a few months ago, or I guess a few weeks ago, and retook the high score. Well, Steve Wiebe, everyone's favorite teacher from Seattle, has just retaken the score. That's right, he has just beaten the score again, so Steve Wiebe is still, well, he's the, the now, I guess, world champion Donkey Kong player yet again. So congrats, Steve, that's awesome, good job. Jeff was talking about Reach earlier, and uh, I want to mention one little tip that we read online that's pretty cool. Install Reach to your hard drive. Not only will it save your disk, in case there's any problems with that, but also load times are a crap ton faster. So definitely install Reach onto your hard drive. It'll speed everything up and make everything much better. So do that next time you turn on your Xbox. Master Chief approves. And so last week was the Tokyo Game Show. Uh, I'm not sure where this held. I'm going to guess Hong Kong. Uh, some cool things came out of that. One of the coolest things was Namco Bandai just announced Tekken Tag 2, which is not only an alliteration, but it's also going to be a very cool game. So if you like the original Tekken Tag, which I think took place, or it came out between Tekken 3 and Tekken 4, yeah, well, they're making a new one, and I'm very, very excited about that. I'm a big fan. We'll be uh, seeing that soon. I like uh, Jude Law, Jude Law, Jude Law, or not Jude Law, <laughs> Forest Law. <laughs> Jude Law is an actor. Forest Law and uh, what, Jin Xiaoyu, those are my, that's my combo, and then Jude Law comes in and acts. Right, so that does it. Thanks for watching. Peace.